Hey everybody, I am Risa, Risa Cohen, and I'm the creative director of Sing Into Reading, where you can teach your child to read with music and love. And I say that all the time. And today I wanna to talk about the end part of that, teach your child to read with music and love, the love part. Um, I know that the method I teach is incredibly effective at teaching literacy. I also know there are a lot of other methods out there. And honestly, I don't care what method you choose as long as you teach your child with love. I prefer you teach them with music and love because it's so magical and effective. But love is the most important thing. Love is the most important thing. Oh, um, I wrote a booklet called 10 Tips to Teach Your Child to Read with Music and Love. And I wrote it. Mm, long time ago, maybe a year ago, maybe almost a year ago, a while ago, a lot of you may have read it, maybe you haven't, whether you've read it or not, you should definitely sign up, I'll put the link in wherever it's appearing, um, so that you can sign up and get that booklet, 10 tips to teach your child to read with music and love, it is amazing, if you haven't read it yet, it's just a quick read, it's just 10 pages, well, there's a bonus, I'll get to it in a minute, and each page just has just a sentence or two, on why and how, and then a quick tip, try it, how you can try it. Um, very valuable, very useful. I hope I've gotten good feedback. Um, people tell me that they find it really valuable. So if you've read it before, read it again, because I'm about to announce an addition I've made. And if you haven't read it before, go read it. Um, just, just read it, it'll take you two or three minutes. It's such a fast read. And maybe it will, maybe you'll learn something new and maybe you'll remember something you had forgotten. Like, oh yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Let me try that. So in it, I tell you, I give 10 tips to teach your child to read with music and love. That's the title, 10 tips to teach your child to read with music and love. And I was rereading it um, recently and realized that I needed to add a bonus tip at the end. So now it's 11 tips, but I'm still calling it 10 tips because I like alliteration. Um, and the last tip is do it with love. Do it with love. Whenever you're interacting with your children, do it with love. <sighs> Sometimes we need to stop and breathe just like that to, to find our highest self where we can come from a loving place right? Because kids are tough. Kids are not easy. I have two kids. Mine are 13 and 16 now. Whew. And uh, I know it's not always easy. And I don't always teach them or parent them from a very loving place. Okay, I'm human. But I will say that more and more and more and more and more I do. Um, and Teaching with love and parenting with love, it's a muscle you can practice like any other. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Just find a way to breathe into your loving self. Um, one way is I offer my members a rosy moment visualization um, that I'll walk them through where they picture a time when they felt totally connected to and loving their child. And I recommend that when you find times that you are losing the love or losing your patience, which is basically the same thing, um, that you take a breath and connect to that rosy moment visualization. Just picture that moment. And um, the first time you go through the meditation, you can follow my guided meditation, but um, with practice, you can do it yourself and it's just a useful tool. Um, and it seems obvious. It seems so obvious that we need to do it with love, right? It seems so obvious. I didn't even write it in my booklet called 10 Tips to Teach Your Child to Read with Music and Love. I didn't even write it at first until recently. But it's in there now. Um, the most important tip, do it with love. The most important tip. Um, I used to read and say, do all things with love. I, it was a mantra for me for a very long time. It still is, but I, it was a mantra I practice daily, do all things with love. Um, those of you that I email with, you know I sign my name, keep singing, Risa. 
Um, and I've been doing that for a very long time, since before singing into reading. But before that, I used to sign love, 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 Risa. And it's all about the love. We need to keep it about the love. We need to keep it about the love. P.S. If you think you're getting emails from me, go check because they might be in your spam folder. And I would love you to please drag them into your main folder and mark the safe, the sender as a safe sender, as a trusted sender so that you get my emails. Um, yeah, do it with love. So I am promoting to do all things with love. I always have been, I always will be. And even if I forget to write a tip at the end of a book, because I think it's so obvious, it doesn't even need to be written. It's not, we all forget it sometimes. So this is just me reminding you to do it with love. Um, I'm going to be speaking at an educational conference in two months at the High Scope Conference in Detroit. Um, and it's an international conference, but it's in Detroit. And the subject I'll be speaking about, and this is to educators, but it's still relevant. The subject I'll be speaking about is encouraging reading, writing, singing, and dancing. And I just want to talk about that word, encouraging. Love is encouraging. Anger is discouraging. When we get angry at our children, they get defensive and shut down and they enter a state of dysregulation. And you can't learn from a state of dysregulation. None of us can. Okay, we need to be encouraged to be in a place where we are receptive to learning. And that's true for all of us, right? Even just talking to yourself. For me, I struggle with um, housekeeping. It's not easy for me. And when I start to have negative self-talk and think, Risa, you're so messy. Um, you're such a hoarder. You're such a slob. And I do that negative self-talk to myself. I am not going to clean a thing. I figure, why bother? I give up. But when I encourage myself with encouraging self-talk, focusing on what I am doing, Risa, I can't believe you finished that one job cleaning out your office. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of you. That was awesome, Risa. You go, go on to the next thing. Then I'm ready to go, right? Encouragement breeds more encouragement. And our kids are the same way. Our kids are exactly the same way. So anytime your child makes any little mistake, if you snap to a, what'd you do? That's discouraging. And then that are go they're going to shut down. They're not going to be ready to hear the next direction. So we need to be encouraging. Come at them with love. All right? Do all things with love. And I'm talking to myself too. And I love you too. I will put the link for the 10 tips to teach your child to read with music and love. If you have read it, read it again, because there's a bonus tip at the end. And if you haven't, go read it. That's it, guys. I love you. Keep singing, keep dancing, keep reading, keep writing. We'll talk soon.